closing the beds was a way to be able to free resources to allow us to do the other work that we thought was fundamental. And that work was to invest to narrow that front door and to really create a different system that was rehabilitative in nature, grounded on a framework of youth development, um, that really implemented evidence-based interventions, that created a trauma-informed system, that engaged parents um, in the rehabilitation of their children and really creating a different system that wasn't a, wasn't a cre uh, correctional model, that wasn't about command and control, which is what we had, and wasn't warehousing kids. So that really is the work that I'm proud of and not necessarily about closing. I mean, you know, that's what gets the attention because people say, well, that's so hard to do. Well, quite frankly, for me, it wasn't that hard to do. What has been very hard to do is to change the culture of, of our, you know, of our facilities and our mindset on how we see these young people, how we treat them and how we deliver. You know, for me, and, it, and when I say the whole system, it's just not the state, but it's the judges, you know, it's my local um, counties that are responsible for, um, you know, their piece of the juvenile justice system. It's the whole system of really looking at the work that we do through a very different lens. And that's the work that we've been engaged in that started even before. I mean, it started, quite frankly, when I walked in through the door saying, you know, this is not the way we're going to do things. And, but it required a lot of support and a lot of work with a lot of people because I wouldn't have been able to do this by myself. And so what I'm proud of is the ability to engage others to take this work on and become leaders and want to do it and that the city wanted to step up.